cave. There is no windows. However, there is aircon. And it's 9 o'clock in the morning and it's already 30 degrees out there. It's bloody hot. It was 27 degrees yesterday when I crossed the border at midnight. Uh, it's uh, and it's 96% humidity so anyway this is my hotel room and uh, you are not allowed to smoke usually when you go to these countries they say you are allowed, allowed to smoke however don't smoke in bed because people smoke in bed and then they fall asleep and then they burn down the hotel um, yeah another thing this is this is Malaysia so this is what you've got to do using this hose instead of toilet paper. However, this is a very westernized hotel, so you have the option of toilet paper, which is, you know, awesome. Some places you don't really have an option. You have so, welcome to JB Malaysia. This is a dodgy kind of area because I told the taxi driver yesterday that I wanted to go to a cheap hotel so he took me here and it's like in the middle of nowhere but whoa 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 I'm not used to that it's like bricks in the middle of the road anyway um, this is my hotel on a budget hotel and we have some shops and we have some more bricks you have to be careful where you're stepping Sometimes you see places like this, like a storm drain, and they don't always have the grill on top of them. So if you don't like look where you walk, you can bloody break your legs. That's why you get travel insurance. Um, it's always interesting to come to a place like this. I'm like the only tourist. I was like ordering some food yesterday and I was the only <laughs> only Caucasian and everyone was like looking at me and I was like <laughs> be nice to me please don't rob me but it's all good so we have some small shops and uh, it's not too bad actually it's about 31 degrees but it's uh, it's a bit of an overcast, so uh, it's actually really pleasant. Here is another one of those. If you're walking, there is like, you can hurt yourself here. So you have to be careful where you walk. And same thing, you're walking and you have this big concrete slab. There's actually some nice apartment blocks just uh, behind this area here. They look really, really nice. So I guess they're, that's where the rich people are living. And over there at the budget hotel is where the poor people are living. And something you see on these roads here is that they look like a rally circuit with the black and white sort of stripes they had that in Singapore as well um, my feet is really 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 sore so I don't know how much exploring I'm going to do today I had to stand up for hours on the bus it was so full of people and apparently some form of public holiday some form of Islamic public holiday so it was crazy yesterday the lady at the hotel was nice and explained it's like Christmas but different they had fireworks a lot of fireworks and I was like oh it wasn't people like shooting each other right it was fireworks like yeah 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 no worries dude. fireworks fireworks oh good Making myself back to the five star hotel here. So, uh, this is the local shopping center in JB. And it's 
it's actually really nice and tidy and it's in a way very westernized. They were just playing Taylor Swift on, on the radio here. And it's like, that's exactly what they do like in all the western places and uh, yeah, it's like when, once you hit the street outside, you, you go into a different world. This is just, you know, very, very familiar territory walking around in a place like this. Everything is shining clean and everything has prices and you don't need to haggle about the price, you know. So it's... Uh, it's definitely interesting. It's definitely aimed at, you know, the more wealthy Malaysians and not the average Joe, I would guess. And it's very, very busy and today is a public holiday, so not all the places are open. And here we have a bit of a line. This seems to be a very popular place. Thinking of getting one one level up to see what kind of food we got. It actually do remind me of Sunnybank in a way, you know. A lot of Asian people and me. El Migos. Seems to be an uh, interesting place where you can get a hot plate and stuff, so I might actually uh, give this place a go. Oh, the security guard. He's a very nice fella, that security guard there. I asked him a few questions and he was very, you know, took his time. It was very nice, pleasant. You know, in the past, security guards have been the one that, you know, sitting on your back and cuffing you and all that, but. That is not going to happen today. So it's actually quite large. It's one, two, three, four, five, five levels. And you get a bit dizzy just you know standing here looking down. Over and out. 